November the 11th. We remember you or remember them. We were not there at Ypres or Passchendaele. How can we share in that experience? We do not want to, for memories recounted frighten us. Were events as painful, oppressive, such epitomes of suffering? How many dead? My neighbours on my street, the students at my school, more, a thousand, tens of thousands, even beyond, hundreds of thousands, millions perhaps. Was it war? What of starvation, poverty? Many die daily. Is this war? Do we listen when the dying speak? How many times have we passed Flanders Field? Do they sleep or restless stand alert? For Dunkirk, Arnhem, Tripoli, which battlefield? Those guns left their mark. Age and race were not of concern. Many have fallen, leaving comrades and loved ones. Again, the numbers only show in human humanity. The years no longer creep but march stealthily, they stop for no one. What purpose served? Do we know? Have we learned? Is this war? Are the dying silenced that we fail to speak? We remember not as well as you. Our image fades in glory? No. Ignorance, we prefer not to know. Our story is embellished with the good. Which good? Can there be any? Comradeship stood rank by rank, a shoulder to a storm. Friendships formed, short-lived, a lifetime in a moment lost. At home, at the front, chances were taken. To build a dream, a future, how many moments were shared? Why have this war? Should we scream the question to the rooftops? I stand in awe, tears stream my cheeks, the trumpet blows re -valley. I look around and see faces, sense relief. Smiles soften, hard mouths. We do not relish war. Memories fade from protection's sake. For Jim, John, Mary or Frank. For nameless thousands lost. One to whom stands unknown. Yesterday's missing, unfound voice. What of today? Tomorrow's vengeful, dark angel of death. Will we stand, take action, before we too must be remembered? Will George.